All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So today I wanna to talk about biodiesel. I just pulled up, I'm in California today, and I have been for the last week, and I pulled up to a, a, a pump that sells diesel. It had diesel on the sign, and I pull up, and I needed to fill up my diesel tank with fuel, and the pump said it sells B20. B20 is a biodiesel fuel. I wasn't familiar with it, and so I wanted to check out my owner's manual to see exactly if it's compatible with my truck. Now, this is a 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's got the Duramax engine. So it's the L5P engine. And I wanted to share a few things I learned about the biodiesel. Is it compatible? Can you use it? Pros, cons, so forth. Okay, according to our Duramax engine supplement guide, this comes with the vehicle. So this is just kind of the owner's manual. I wanted to check this out. I wasn't sure exactly. I, I wasn't familiar with biodiesel because in my state, they're it's not available at any of the pumps, but it is in California at least, or what I came across. So for example, it just tells about what it is, about what biodiesel is. So biodiesels with a content up to 20% may be used. So you can use a B20, B5, B20, you can use that in this vehicle. It is uh, compatible. Now there's a couple things to be aware of. One is, is if you're gonna be storing the vehicle for more than a month, you should not use biodiesel. So biodiesel doesn't store as well as regular diesel petroleum-based fuel because it's just not gonna store as well. So it says if you're going to use use it for long-term storage, more than a month, if you're not gonna be using your your, your, your truck or vehicle on a, on a regular basis and it's gonna be sitting for more than a month, the biodiesel just doesn't, does, doesn't store as well. It doesn't, it's not as long-term compatible. Also, cold weather driving. So we're looking over here at cold weather driving. If it's going to be below freezing, do not use the biodiesel because it's going to gel up a little easier than regular petroleum-based. And you also may have to change your fuel filter more regularly if you're using the biodiesel. So because it is a more re renewable fuel, because it's made from generally like soybean oil or some kind of... Uh, renewable source 20 20 percent or the but the b20 means is 20 percent is biodiesel 80 percent is petroleum based or oil based so it's got a more renewable component to it and so because of because of that fact it, because it has you know that 20 percent of more soybean or whatever the renewable source is it just is not going to do as well in cold weather so don't use it if you're going to be using it in cold in, in below freezing weathers or don't use it if you're going to be storing your vehicle. If you don't drive it, let's say you don't let's say you don't go through a tank of fuel in a month, don't use it. But otherwise, it is safe to use. It, uh, I have heard some comments and some uh, feedback on some forums. People prefer using it. The engine idles quieter. It runs a little better. Fuel mileage, though, I have heard that fuel mileage is not going to be as good with the B20 as with regular. Uh, the five percent the diesel number two so that's that's probably up for debate but it is interesting to know that uh, you can use a biodiesel in this is the l5p duramax engine that they have since two so from 2017 to now 2022 you can use the biodiesel b20 it's safe to use so there's not not a problem you can use that just fine Curious to know if you guys have any feedback, any questions, any concerns with the with the the B20. But I put it in the vehicle because that was all the station had, and I figured it'd be safe because the the engine, the supplement to the owner's manual said it is safe. Okay, I don't plan on running the B20 on a regular basis. That's just what was available at the pump that I stopped at, and my state where I fill up regularly doesn't even have the b20 so i'm curious to know if you guys use it on a regular basis if it's uh, any feedback any concerns any questions about it and also i i didn't have an empty tank i had half a tank of regular diesel and then i put the biodiesel in and then i'm going to put regular diesel on top of that so it's not going to be in there very long so i don't think i'm not concerned about it and it wasn't any cheaper either the bio i don't know if uh, where you're at if biodiesel is cheaper than regular diesel if it is, that might be an advantage to using it, but it was the it was pretty much the same price as all the other regular diesel fuel pumps in the area here. This is in Southern California. Anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.